What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gem Report. I'm your host, Pablo. Joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we were going to do another show, but Brian said, let's take our victory lap. And we need to. We need to pat ourselves on the back for yet again, letting you guys in on what's going on. And it actually happened just a few days later. It's just continued. This has been, Brian, this year has been prediction after prediction. And we haven't been so great with the prediction in terms of the box office. We, yeah, uh, that's we, in our worst, our worst <laughs> predictions. We'll do that show. Our worst predictions. We each have a couple of big eggs when it comes to the box office. That's all right. That happens. Yeah. Um, but we've come out with some really pretty big prediction and, and predictions, and, and, and they have just keep hitting, keep hitting, especially... Brian, a few days ago in, in our Henry Cavill conversation, I th I think you made mention uh, of a situation that if it were to occur, it would inform you of, I guess, the relationship going forward. Well, let, hang on, let's let's re let's rewind. Okay, because this is our year in review show for our the Nerd Gen's best prediction, and there really yeah. is only one candidate, which is everything to do with the black adam film slash henry cavill's to return or not to return which ultimately became not to return as superman basically everything we said was gonna happen was happening might happen came true you and i were skeptical yeah we had a box office conversation when this started when the rock was floating that this he wanted to be this is billion dollar franchise we said no no zero percent chance at the time i guessed 500 million i was generous as it turned out <laughs> didn't even make 400 but that's pretty close compared yeah. to what people were floating out there yeah yeah and everything we saw in the trailers in the material we started seeing this looks very familiar and then we go see the movie and it is a exactly. <laughs> 20 years of superhero films, exactly what we suspected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw it, we saw it all in the trailer. Go ahead. That's right. And then we heard the whole Henry Cavill's rumor with Black Adam. And he wasn't in it. He wasn't in it. He wasn't at Comic Con. And you kept saying, you kept saying every step along the way. I was even skeptical. You were like, no, he's in it. He's in the movie. He's gonna yeah. be in the movie. <laughs> yeah. And and there it, he was. It, it, it was. It, it's crazy, right, Brian? Because there was no confirmation anywhere. And I said, I mean, nobody told me. But the way The Rock was talking, he was showing his hand. And Brian, think about. I don't know if you've read some of the um, some of the rumors out there of how this all transpired. This was like. A few months before the movie was being released. Have you heard the same thing? Yeah. So we'll get to that exclamation point. So you were okay. spot. You held firm and said he's going to be in it. He's going to be in it. Despite all the news to the contrary, he was in it. You were 100% correct. Um, and then I said, as we were getting closer to the movie, I kind of said from a numbers perspective, if this movie does 600, 700 million, WB is going to be in the Dwayne Johnson business, the Black Adam business. He was certainly assuming they were going to be in that business. He's talking about he's got his spinoffs <laughs> all planned and the universe, it's the Black Adam DC universe now and all this sort of stuff. But I said at the time, I said, if this movie's tracking 400 million or worse, I think WB is going to walk away. I think David Zadler is going to walk away and say no. And that's what's happened. The box office is under 400 million and there's no Black Adam 2. And Dwayne Johnson's confirmed. Black Adam is not a part of the next cycle of DC projects. So we we're yeah. right on that. And then after the movie came out and we broke it down yeah. and you started to hear the Henry Cavill stuff back and forth, that then led to what we talked about, which was, I think, I didn't see a lot of other people talk about this, which is we were saying, look, this is all euphemisms for a giant power struggle yeah. between Team Rock Seven Box Productions, of which Henry Cavill is closely... <coughs> what? <laughs> what? 
closely <laughs> connected versus a studio in disarray that then ultimately hired James Gunn and Peter Saffron to chart their new court. We told you, like, everything you were seeing fit into that one umbrella of two camps duking it out yeah. underneath the CEO and the board's watch. And, and every leak that's come out in these Variety Hollywood Reporter articles confirms that that's exactly what was, was happening. And when, as the as the cards were being turned over, we were very early to say, you were very early to say, like, Henry Cav this this Henry Cavill story is not going to stick. He ain't going to make it. Yeah. And we said, what did we say was the number one reason he wouldn't make it? He was too old. Yeah. And what we find out, Superman's going to be young. And therefore, yeah. Henry Cavill can't play him. And then you said, this is going to sever, this is going to fracture relationships, this whole situation. And I said, you know how you're going to know that? <laughs> is if Henry Cavill fires Danny Garcia as his agent, because she's the Rock's agent and his ex-wife. And Pablo, what happened? <laughs> when you have people out there talking, they're telling you stuff. And you can sort of, Brian, decipher what's going on. I think the person that the person that we have to uh, uh, um, blame for us giving us this 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 sort of insight is the Rock. Yeah, a hundred percent. He told us everything, and we could kind of read. The room where he was placing his bets, and we could kind of see like our view being like, I don't think that bet's gonna pay, <laughs> and, and it did it. So to bring it all around, what did it? What does do we now find out? What has Henry Cavill done? He's fired his agent. Yeah. Wow. And who can blame him? As we said, no Bond, no Superman, no Witcher. Yeah, okay, the Warhammer Cinematic Universe. All right. <laughs> this is the first time I ever heard in my life. I mean, good luck with it, but that ain't Superman and James Bond, man. And like the way the Superman yeah. thing went down, you there's no way you, 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 that, you the, that he played it the way the Rocks can't want him to play it. Because he was never this. signed. He was he was given information. And he I know in his tweet, he's like, Oh, the studio said I could no no no. You ain't signed. Why are you out there giving a video like that if you if it's not a lock? Uh, yeah, that, that's a tactic yeah. by your camp, and it cost you. It hurt you in the end. Yeah, I, I'm sure he must have been furious. I, I would have been he furious. Was. Yeah, like most of the time when we see career sliding doors moments like this that I can think of. It usually involves an actor who was fine. Like Will Smith was offered the part of Neo in The Matrix. He turned it down. But it's Will Smith. He, nobody's crying over Will Smith's career, even mm. ignoring what happened this past year. Yeah. He's had a he's had a banner career as a star. Yeah. But you know, Henry Cavill's career has been marked by near miss after near miss. I mean, he was the runner up to Daniel Craig for James Bond in 2005, and he was too young at the time. And now wow. he's Basically, the runner up to Superman because he's too old. Henry <laughs> James Bond, he's too old. Like, that's been the story of this guy's career. So, yeah, oh, he's going to feel a kind of way about it at this point. It's like, it's sad. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a sad story, yo. It's a sad story. I would be furious, yo. And, he, and, and obviously, he was because he fired him. It's like, that's it. And I, I don't know what that relationship is now between The Rock and Henry. Rock is going to probably say everything's great. Henry's going to go about his business. He was trying to do that. And I'm pretty sure Henry's a... Brian, I think the recent things about him having more control, I think that's just things that have rubbed off on him. But again, that's, that's a camp. A camp... That you, yes, sometimes that is the actor driving the bus. And sometimes it's the camp driving the bus. Yeah. And the reality is, the way he's handled his business in the last couple of years definitely has the fingerprints of the rock style. And the way mm -hmm. he handled the Superman return has the fingerprints of the rock style. Yeah. And 
yeah, not everyone's Dwayne Johnson. As we said, not everyone's Dwayne Johnson. Like, you, you know, he runs his career a certain way and it works for him to a certain level. But it ran head first into the superhero genre in a way that ended very badly for Henry yeah. Cavill. And like the other thing we don't know, but I guarantee as a factor here is we don't know how he was steered or what things he passed. Like we know, we know the MCU had conversations with him. We know that. But if Henry Cavill was strong arming that situation or if Camp Rock was saying, no, like we're not doing Captain Britain unless we got full control. Like who knows what he passed on? And right. now he's looking back and saying, if I had been playing ball, if I had been doing things a different way with a different set of representation, I might have a whole different set of career choices. Even if I'm not Superman, maybe I am Doom. Maybe I am Captain Britain. Maybe I am some Hyperion or something in the MCU. And yeah. he'd be in a lot better shape as an A-lister than he is right now. There was an article written, I don't know if it was a year or two ago, I don't know, but well, he, he apparently walked into, I think it was in uh, in headquarters in Europe, I, I think of, of Disney. I don't know. He walked into uh, their headquarters and wanted to talk to people at Marvel. That's rock stuff. That's somebody showing up and just not like, let's talk. And I'm like, what the hell? We didn't have no, nothing written down in the calendar. Yeah. So that, I mean, but that is the exclamation point to a series of predictions and interpretation that you and I have been, I mean, I, we didn't talking, want it. We, we didn't want this. We're, <laughs> taking the, we're taking the news, <laughs> processing it and synthesizing it. And pretty much everything we predicted and everything we interpreted has came turned to out pass. to be true or has came, come to pass. So this is hands down. Our best on a yet. big issue of 2022 been our best prediction from start to finish black adam and henry cavill's ultimate not return as superman thanks rock <laughs> know your role <laughs> oh man uh, it's it's it, it, it's been a hell of a year that, that this was a crazy this was a saga this was a, something that we've been talking about since the beginning of the year because we were, were anticipating black adam we wanted to see this film <laughs> because of 15 uh, years in the making <laughs> literally and you get and they gave us this I all don't the know. warning signs were there yeah. And like they were hyping it and they even got us a little interested with the talk about the camera work and the superhero stuff that never really panned out but like we were always on the side of like man this <laughs> doesn't look like a winner and, the, and 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 the more and more we saw of the trailers the more the the more we saw this is gonna be horrendous you were on that from the beginning. I forgot to add that. You were on that, that the promotional material ultimately proved to be a great predictor of the quality of the end product, where you were like, what is this initial graphic thing we're getting in fandom? <laughs> and then the first teaser is pretty underwhelming. And then the the whole, the, the whole Comic-Con kind of booing on stage and the over-the-top, you know, rocking costume. Pre and you, every step of the way, you were like, this, this promotional campaign for something that's been in the works this long is very disappointing and concerning yeah. and yeah, yeah you were right movie yeah. movie was in line with that yeah this this year has been a good year for us um to sort of uh interpret the news and give a sense of what could happen and and it happened it happened it happened um but yeah uh brian anything else to add to this uh stellar year of predictions no, I, I just think like, like I said, there's so many, there's been, you know, a short list of hot button issues for 2022, but I think this one playing, you know, kind of coming to a head just... in the holiday season has been one of the highest profile. And yeah, like, I just feel like if you go back and were to watch our shows in succession with what you know now, you would just be like, were we, were these guys in the room or were these guys <laughs> like operating two weeks ahead of the actual reality? I, Brian, I, I think because I have time off this week, Thursday, I'm going to, because those 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 episodes are there. I can go and listen to them and cut those little 
sentences that predicts the whole thing put the dates on it oh man i'm gonna, this is gonna be a production so that's gonna, our yeah. yeah best prediction of 2022 year in review black adam and the saga of henry cavill hopefully people hey hit that notification bell when we when we i'm not saying listen that we're gonna predict everything but we're gonna give you some insight because we're not how do i say i want to do one day a show brian where we talk about the show and what the show is about. And it's basically interpreting the news and talk about what could happen, what should happen, what we hope doesn't happen. Brian, I'm pretty sure some of the conversations that we have off camera and stuff like that, they're having it too, Brian. That's why we arrive at these situations. So um, yeah, uh, we'll see you next time on the Energy Report. <laughs>